Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. So you get this product. Now this can cyclize. Just write the product. Uh, just I want to know how you can write it. Because it looks to be simple. Write it by yourself. Write the product now. Finish. Yes, you got this product, right? Yes. Yeah, if I have an, you can't get it, but uh, we will see that in the another, because next reaction we are going to see additions, uh, there we can work on it. So, we will go slowly now, alpha cleavage, then intramolecular, then we will go to addition. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, always you have a chance to do it. Yes, we will now go into another nice example which you like to do. Of uh, diketone, right? <coughs> so, if I fertilize, yeah, you know it can be S1 or T1, that is fine. Now, what happens? I can excite one of my ketone, right? So, it can go to a dot. So, which will be the hydrogen it will try to abstract. So, uh, now I have given it two options <coughs> alpha, beta, gamma, right? Or I can write alpha, beta, gamma. So, it has an hydrogen here to abstract, it has an hydrogen here to abstract. So, we can call this as A, this as B, which you think this just you have to think little bit on the molar structure because it is an, a type of how many carbon it is no system 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 type of 10 member ring system right so you have to just think about the molar 10 member ring system how like <coughs> <coughs> i want you to even do this molar you can try doing this molar and see which hydrogen is near to this carbon here. If you can remember it is fine, if you can visualize that it is fine. Otherwise just try to do a model, nothing wrong in it. It takes only hardly like few minutes. You can do the model and think which carbonyl is near to it. Any idea if you can visualize <coughs> which hydrogen should be near to this carbon here? Yeah. So, this hydrogen is nearer to your carbonyl than this, okay? this part, fine. So, now then you abstract the hydrogen. So, what you are getting it?
So, you get a 1 for di radical. <coughs> Now, you guys have to tell me what this one for di radical can do. Looks to be like, uh, yeah, but it is 10 member ring, you have studied little bit. Eh? Uh, just for my clarity, I will uh, write one more time. You just think on, you just let me know what it can do so that I can just follow. cyclization. See, only two you can write. One you can write cyclization or you should write Norwich type 2. Norwich type 2, can you think about here? No. If you write cyclization, what you get? Very good. It is possible, no? Yeah. Then write the structure. We will see. We will see both the ways. Just write it by yourself uh, without seeing others, whether you can think about that 8 member and 4 member. Anything like this? Right? I will just cyclize this part with an OH here and carbon. You, you might get in the down with the OH and carbon, both are same. <coughs> you think this structure is stable? See, one thing you have to always do the, uh, remember when you photolyze, okay, the product which are formed, it also can absorb light. Okay does not mean the once the product is formed, it will not absorb light, because it also has a ketone. It will also absorb the light, that also you should think, because once you start some reactions like Norwich type 1, once you have a ketone, then it will do Norwich type 2. So, you will have a continuation process. Okay. So, you have to ke keep on thinking. If this carbonyl now starts absorbing, then what do you do? Because this also has a carbonyl, no? no. There is a carbonyl here. It is not going to say that I am not going to absorb light. Okay. So, if it absorbs, what will what you expect now? That is the interesting of this. You can think about alpha cleavage. What you what you get? Get a very nice product. That is why it, this reaction tries to go this way. Just think. Alpha cleavage, what then? your ketin back. I can just make my ketin from here. Okay, this is this reaction happens in light as well as heat. Okay, once I take this okay, and keep it in the room temperature or for a higher temperature, just cleaves down to give me a nice what member ring it is? 8 member that is cyclo octanone type of ketone plus I get my ketin and you know the ketin reacts in alcohol and give you other products that is fine. I uh, see so this example is very important that uh, why I am saying do not stop with your one photo product. Okay? Uh, once you should keep in mind that yes my product can again absorb light if it again absorbs, then any feasible reaction happens, whether I can do any alpha cleavage again. This all you should start thinking now. Hmm? Done. Hmm? So, we will go for the next example.
it's uh, I'm taking a type of dialdehyde system. Okay, and uh, since I have not introduced aldehyde, aldehyde most of the time does the chemistry from singlet. Okay, it doesn't do much intersystem crossing. Their energy gap is huge. They don't do intersystem crossing. So you can see most of the time chemistry happening from the singlet state. Okay. So once I fertilize, then it goes to singlet S1. So can I write that singlet here properly? Now what it can do? That's a very one simple thing. It just rotate here. Okay, just rotation happens. Okay, this part is, uh, it does this part, you know why, because you have an alpha, beta, gamma, okay. Alpha, you have an alpha, beta, gamma. So, so this O dot has to abstract this hydrogen, okay. That is why it does this, uh, uh, what do you call, flipping to get you O dot. Now, it is uh, as a facility to abstract this hydrogen. So, if it abstract then what happens? Now tell me what you are going to do. This part is little bit interesting if you can think. Can you think the air? What what makes this reaction to go forward? Cyclization. No, the next step. What which pushes this reaction to go forward? Because there are radicals, eh? you are not pushing your radicals. That is why no, always when we have an aromatic ring, we never think that there is an electron there. Right? So, I can happily push like this. See, normally I also have that I put like aromatic ring, we put always like electronic cloud, like we never put like a double one like system. No, it does this. So, why it has to do this? Just see the product. Write the product if you just write <coughs> what product you get. Yes, you get a very nice intermediate ketene. That is why it does this. <coughs> When you can ask that sir, formation of an acyl radical may acyl, <coughs> I have a radical in acyl all these things, because it wants to move towards ketene, it does this, because that is the formation of intermediates always keep the reaction <coughs> to move forward, okay. Type of driving force, if you want to generate a carbon, reaction tries to move that direction, ketene, yes. Now you can finish it off, how ketene reacts. <coughs> <coughs> How ketene can react? Now, uh, now it doesn't need radical, right? It's your simple chemistry. You can.
but then your minus can take this hydrogen so this will happen Yes, right. Type of <coughs> a photo inhalation type of chemistry it is. So that's why I'm trying to do like uh, different type of examples so that you just get into it. See, once you get this dialdehyde system, if someone gives you dialdehyde system and says you want to do the photochemistry, you cannot, it is very hard to get into Norris type 2 unless you did this example. Otherwise, you will be looking for some other chemistry like can I do alpha cleavage or can I do this chemistry. Okay. You cannot think about Norris type 2 that time, Intra, like intramolecular hydrogen abstraction can occur. I so will take a simple ketone, okay, not with a big stain or anything, we will take a simple ketone. <coughs> you have studied this ketone already, okay. Um, oh, where you studied this one? You have studied this, this type of ketone, what it does? It undergoes a beta cleavage reaction. So, you have to now think about beta cleavage also in this process. Plus, you have to think now this chemistry can also Norris type 2 reaction or uh, abstraction, Norris type 2 process can also happen here. Okay. So, now if I fertilize this one, you can say I will get S1 or T1 because it is an aliphatic ketone. Now, you have a methyl here, right. So, I can say it is alpha, beta and this is my gamma carbon. So, it can start abstracting hydrogen from there also. No? So, I get again 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, uh, 1 for diradical. <coughs> now, what you are going to think about? Uh, whether it is cyclization, you are going to do a cyclization or you are going to do Norris type 2? You want to do Norris type 2 because the ring is stained. Want to cleave this? Sorry, I missed one carbon. I will just do it one more time. I missed one of the carbon. I 
this, so I get a product like this. Now, let me know like uh, whether cyclization if it happens, you think like a cyclization will not occur in this process. Is it a stance like this will be 80 percentage, that will be 20 percentage or you are saying like no sir, this is the only dominating product, I do not get my cyclic product at all, can be Can you write the cyclic product? See whether it is favorable or not. Right, you get a cyclic product of this type. possible or not. A straight statement, yes or no. Like you have a 5 membered with a followed by a 3 membered, it is not possible, right? Yeah. Fine. See, some cases why I am trying to draw this, in some cases you get cyclic products which are possible, okay, with a 4 membered coming out or something like 6 membered with it that uh, 6 members with 3 members if it comes out then it is when you see you immediately you say that no it is not possible but just write the product sometime it will be a 6 member followed by a 3 member attach that are possible okay so it is better to write that okay clear so we will take I think this re, uh, this example you should guide me, okay? I'm just going to follow what you are you are telling me. Awesome. Okay, fine. That's it. Try beta gamma. So, you know that it goes to S1 or S1 or T1 and from there I can get my adenine abstraction. See, I am made this ketone in such a way, so you do not have a choice here alpha, beta, gamma. Okay? Only choice you are left behind is alpha, beta, gamma. Now, you get me the, so you get a gyro radical, yes. Now you help me out. What I have to do? You want to do a nourish type two reaction, and nourish type two. You want to cleave this, this one. To cleave this part and get you a key. So you should think like this way, okay? That is always better. When you have a cyclic system, please think in this direction. For just for simplicity, we are writing here in this way. Okay. <coughs> can I cyclize this? Now, just I am asking. Can I cyclize? No. this molecule prefer to cyclize. Okay, we will try to cyclize this, no? see what, why it is happening. Okay. Just cyclize this and see what you are going to get. Yeah, you will get a really, the way you look, 
in the picture it should be like Yes, sir. Yeah. So that's why I, once you start thinking in that angle, you will know that why it is cyclizing. They always look like this one. <coughs> so you. So you get like this. <coughs> Basically, compound is also not to be happy like sitting here. Compound says that I am not so happy to sit like this. Yeah, anyhow, I, mo I cyclize. It says that I am not happy. What it does? Because now you can see here what is happening. Are you getting it? I try to understand. Now I have two ketones. Okay, <coughs> I have used one of my ketone for doing Norris type two reaction, or sorry, like hydrogen abstraction reaction. Now again, I am left with one ketone down. Right, this can also absorb light, right? So if it absorb, what you can expect? Let's just think. You have now a ring strain one. A system like this. Very strange one you have, right? Nourish. So yeah, now I have a ketone which can abstract. Yeah, your nourish type one alpha cleavage, right? Because you know that once you are stained having ring, you always prefer to do an alpha cleavage reaction. So if I do an alpha cleavage, do an alpha cleavage, right? I got this product. So this is uh, your one, two, three, four, five, six. You get this di radical, right? So what we studied when we do an alpha cleavage reaction, you get this. What what this radical does? You get an acyl and alkyl radical, right? Whenever you do an alpha cleavage reaction, uh, what you studied there? One, it can recombine. Okay, or it can decarbonylation can take place to get a cyclization, or it acyl radical can abstract an hydrogen, or your alkyl radical can abstract an hydrogen. These are all possibilities we have studied. Uh, which fits here? So I always said that uh, it's nice to generate an intermediate, right? Most of the time, reaction likes to do. I can abstract this hydrogen. Or I can abstract this hydrogen. If uh, my acyl is going to abstract this hydrogen, I am again generating a double bond. So if I ab abstract here, I am generating an ketene. So you prefer to do ketene. Yeah? Not stereochemistry, just a single line. Okay. Now what happens? See, I generated the ketene. What do you think about? Come on, man! I have a OH here. I have for you only. I have just put a non-bonded electron so that you get a feel. So you. This can attack, right? 
Hmm. That is all. So, now the interesting point is that can you attack this and draw the structure? I can give you two minutes. Just it is your regular chemistry where you have like uh, you can take this and you attack your thing like your regular one. I will give you the final product. Okay, uh, you just think how it comes. You can write and show to me. Okay, I'll write all this can be like that. It should be a final product. Okay, just I am just taking this part and now making a bridge here, and this will be my the cyclic system, the cyclic system, and this will be my bridge one. So, I am saying like. Uh, when you go, uh, when you have any problems, they give this product and give you this one. Like immediately, you doesn't strike on your mind. Okay, so you have to think that first you do an intramolecular hydrogen abstraction, and followed by your alpha cleavage reaction. Yeah, these are little bit tougher problems, but it's nice to work on this. Okay. Gamma hydrogen in alpha cleavage after alpha in cleavage. Uh, okay, you want to do this gamma hydrogen abstraction again from this one, right? You are talking yes. about um, alpha beta, beta. alpha beta, gamma alpha beta. You want to uh, pick this hydrogen? <coughs> yeah, but yeah. Once you pick this hydrogen, what happens after? Are you getting any products, good products? Uh, if, uh, if there is a knowledge type to be mm. the molecule, what type of molecule is simply there? Because there is only six member and a four member. Yeah. Um, what, you, what you can do, just write the product okay? and we will discuss that. See, we will see the product first. Okay? But the reaction, this are like it happens, <coughs> might be because of your much ring strain. Hmm? It wants to open up rather than doing your hydrogen abstraction. But anyhow, we will just write the product and we will see that also. Okay, nothing wrong, we will just write the product. Hmm? We will definitely discuss that. Are you getting the fire, this product? Or you can at least imagine that is good. Simple ketone. Okay, only one thing I did. I am now I am slowly involving a double bond into the system. I am taking an example in such a way that it's a ketone with as a gamma hydrogen, but slowly I am involving this double bond. I am thinking what this double bond can do now. Hmm? You get S one, CO. So, up to this you can write nicely. So, alpha, beta, gamma, we have an hydrogen here. <coughs> A 
again it is sorry 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 alpha beta oh sorry extremely sorry hmm? i will take down the Now I can take this hydrogen. Okay, I can take this hydrogen now. Gamma O H. I will get a dot. <coughs> now what you can think about? Now again, it's one, two, three, four di radical. What this molecule can do? Any guess? Uh, if it can do Norwich type two. You want to do? You want to do a cyclization here? Okay. Okay. You, yeah. See, that's how it is. No? What it does is I can <coughs> write it another way, right? Similarly, you can write like this. It can be. I can write the same molecule. Can write this, ne? The similarly. Yes. So now I can take this radical. So instead of doing the cyclization here, okay, I'm trying to do my cyclization with this. You see. So that's why I just introduced that double bond hmm? to show you how we are involving the double bond. So, what happens then? Get a very nice product. So, these are like really nice examples where you can think about making molecules. <coughs> I am going to give you two structures now. Okay. So there are two examples, same molecule. Okay. Okay. Um, now I tell me, once I shine light, uh, see both of them do their photochemistry. Um, I'm going to ask like, uh, which one will do? Uh, hydrogen abstraction reaction, which you prefer that it will do hydrogen abstraction and from with I will call this as A and B. I have two system right now, okay. Uh, so, it should be A, yeah, because you have an hydrogen here. 
that is why I said like the, that planar thing should be ok. Uh, in this case it is very you cannot do that. Ne? So, you can we write the chemistry then from here. Like this photolysis I get an S 1 then it undergoes a nice intersystem crossing. See this undergoes a nice intersystem crossing okay, because it is an aromatic gap of ketone 2 triplet. Then I end up with a we get the dot here for beta gamma. So, you have a 1 4 di radical again. Now, we have to think what it will be doing. You want to carry out a, a cyclization reaction or you want to carry out a Norris type 2? You want to carry out a Norris type 2. I can cleave my beta bond then. 